for today's video, I will share to you the easiest way to revive a dead 18650 cell. If you are new to this channel, malamang bago ka kasi bago ang channel na to. I made a video on how to make a 35 ampere hour battery pack out of old 18650 cells. Bago tayo magsimula, I want to thank my 31 subscribers. 11 of them are my relatives and the other 20 are the 20 Google accounts that I've created. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to this channel para naman maging 32 ang subscribers ko. I have here two dead cells that came out from an old laptop battery. Now let's measure the voltage using a multimeter. I will set it to voltage reading. The first cell only got 0.72 volts, while the second cell has 0.23 volts. So both of them are below the nominal voltage. Let's see kung mababasa siya ng lithium ion charger. I'm using a Lee Tokala charger. So ngayon the charging ended at 1.54 volts only 0002 milliampere let's see the other one So now the charging ended at 1.54 volts and 0001 milliampere. This happens because the charger could not distinguish the battery. Masyado siyang mababa sa nominal voltage. So now, let's try this method. We'll try to revive these batteries. Now I'll be using an IMAX B6 LiPo Balance Charger. Instead of setting the charger to LiPo, I'm setting the charger to Nickel Metal Hydride Charging with 1.5 amps of current. You might be asking why I'm setting the charger to nickel metal hydride instead of lithium ion with um, 3.6 volts. Well, it's because nickel metal hydride's nominal voltage is just 1.2 volts. Now I'm waiting for the voltage to reach 3.6 volts. Now it's 3.6 volts. So I think, pwede na to. So I will stop the charging. And let's see kung madedetect na siya ng ating lithium-ion charger. So now let's check the voltage. Current reading is at 3.19 volts. So let's see if the charger could distinguish the battery. As you could see, 
the voltage reading is 3.26 and the charger distinguished it as lithium ion the voltage is going up and the current as well so I think this is good I'll just wait for the battery to be charged so let's see if um, the other cell could be revived as well so now it has 1.14 volts do the same process and charge it using the nickel metal hydride setting at 1.5 amperes now I'm waiting for the voltage to reach 3.6 volts Then I will proceed with the capacity testing process so I could determine the current rating of each cell. We finally completed the charging of both cells. As you could see, cell number 1 has 4.2 volts with 1872 milliamps. We completed the charging for 2 hours. Cell number 2 has 1950 milliamperes so that's it um, if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching god bless